all right so we are back again on the podcast on the youtube channel and we are talking about slash reading jujutsu kaisen 260 okay chapter 260 and there's only got what four chapters left so let's go ahead and do this um if you're new by the way don't forget to follow the podcast because i think it's very important for me to let you guys know that um so that you guys are updated as well as the youtube so that you guys are updated on the latest chapters and what um we are doing on this channel so anyways let's read on just how do you think you'll be able to go on sukuna's all mouth inside fushiguro's soul chapter 268 finale you had your body stolen by me you murdered your own sister you turned away the hands reaching out to you oh right that brat you saved even ended up slaughtering thousands well we know sukuna not itadori give it up you can't live a proper life anymore just relax and leave it all to me there's a sukuna right there trying to devour megumi's soul why do you sound so desperate is it because there's only one left only one more of your fingers i guess that's uh megumi replying back there's a special way to turn yourself into a cursed object which means that if itadori takes no care in tearing you from me here you'll die plus that resonance isn't all good news for you if these 19 fingers disappear that lone finger won't have enough pull to connect your soul to it even something like you fears death from the very start i never intended to live a proper life sounds obvious but there's tons more people in this world than just me just once more i think i want to try living for someone else i like that the the main expansion's broken i guess that was yuji's and yuji punches megumi you can see the impact of megumi's body flying out he look he looks such like an adult here like all developed all muscular and you know tall and well i'll say good size but i guess it's just him coming out because you can see it here and you can see Sukuna being released or at least trying to grab back megumi you can see Sukuna's hand grabs onto megumi here so yeah but i think due to him being released from megumi's body or expelled from his body this is him burning or being re- being released into the atmosphere so that's him there and that's megumi right there and that's obviously yuji <sighs> oh wow look at look at how they did sukuna like a sort of parasite do you know what i mean i like that because he is a cursed spirit and he is intruding into someone's body slash consciousness to take over them look at all the things he's gone through he did a the bathing to like push megumi's soul down do you know what i'm saying he's ensured that he has control over the society that he's at i feel like sukuna has got gotten a very far for just how much and how known he is to like well known to be within like the field of curses do you know what i mean Yuji's hair with his cut eye. Obviously, the building's broken down. How is this building still standing up so straight? Like, it's so clean. Maybe the domain expansion didn't expand to this side. And, yeah, it took no effect. But look at Yuji right here. Damaged. This part of the arm doesn't have that on that. This part, like, this doesn't have that on that arm. This looks really good, man. Sukuna looking up, you know. Is what it is. What's it going to be? Man's giving him that choice, Sukuna. Release Fuchiguro, return to my body once more, and I'll spare your life. So this is the past. Obviously, he's now left uh, Megumi's body, so chances are he's going to rejoin with Sukuna. Um, you to Yuji Tadori. Sukuna, you are me. He said the same thing to uh, Mahito. We are born into this world, unconsciously shouldering curses. What sort of monster you turn into is entirely decided by your luck. And I had my gramps. Sukuna, let's try it one more time. Living not by someone, living not by cursing someone, excuse me, but by ex, by what by existing alongside them. I like this. Basically, he's saying if it wasn't for his grandpa, circumstances would have probably turned him into the same kind of character that Sukuna had become and is. So, shout out to gramps. 
even if no one else will accept you, I'll live with you. So he's consoling Sukuna and basically telling him like, you don't have to be alone. You don't have to die. You have a compatible body here and we can live side by side with each other by curses and humans. I'm impressed you take this far so far, Itadori Yuji. Don't underestimate me. I'm a curse. So here, uh, I don't want to say Sukuna's dead. Okay, why? Because he's got a finger left. Out of the 19 fingers, he's got one finger left. And there's a possible chance that he might get eaten again by Yuji so that they can fulfill that living together with each other and by curses. This part here that we're looking at, I think it's basically like his last words to Yuji and his essence before he leaves that pile of flesh slash finger. So yeah, because you can see in Yuji's face right here, it doesn't seem happy. He seems like he's kind of like sad. So yeah, it's finished. Yup, looks like it's all over. What are you going to do? Like it's Like I said, it's finished. There's nothing more to do. The only possible cause of Master Sukuna's defeat would be his incarnated form. You plebeians had no strength. <laughs> Luck was just on your side. You narrowly escaped death by simply being born 1,000 years too late. I agree. Luck was on my side, huh? That's the highest praise a guy like me can get. Obviously. <laughs> I suppose you're right. And then Uraume disappears. Now you see this... Uraume and Hakari fight. I'm kind of annoyed because I feel like they should have been a much more better interaction between the two. I love how they were introduced to one another, how Hakari jumped or was falling down from the sky whilst Uraume was on like a big pile of ice that they were both on and they basically were falling down and they should have shown more in between the interactions that they that these two characters had between each other because this here at the end seems like they probably met at a stalemate and they came to a point of just like conversation or friendliness within the battle and so i really do want to, i really did wanted to see like the battle between them how luck could you know be experienced but it even seems as though like within this page here they didn't even really get too far within the fight because things ended with Sukuno. I also want to say Uraume, if you guys wanted to know the gender, is most definitely, most likely a guy. This face hair is a bit too strong towards a masculine face. And on top of that, the person has bandages here, which could indicate that, you know, it is a female, yes. But I feel as though the bandages to like, make the chest area i don't know maybe flat or so so it could be a female but in my opinion i think it's a male i don't know the eyes here look kind of like female-ish but hey if you guys know please let me know in the comment section box below i think it'll be an interesting discussion on topic i just think urume's gender is kind of skewed or skewed in this um series so megumi's got a permanent scar on his face i guess um he wakes up and this must be like a couple of days or so, maybe even a day or two, I don't know. What are you guys doing? Trying to pull a Kugisaki lives prank. Oh, this is the same thing that Yuji Itadori did with um, Gojo when he surprised Megumi and Nobra that he was alive. So I guess he's doing the same thing to Megumi. Oh, my bad. He's still got this like down to earth, calm demeanor. He's still himself, but I'm sure all of this of an impact did affect him in some way shape or another i mean he lost his sister for goodness sake and all the stuff that he was doing was for his sister it's only recently now within his chapter when he said he's going to find something else to live for is him trying to pick up the pieces so guys you all thought the biggest piece of eye candy in the glass in the class was six feet under eye candy lol yet yeah, she's alive kicking and kicking you're not gonna to piss yourself shocked or cry tears of joy why would they i mean yeah i cried a bit what a baby uh when you landed that resonance that seems very very happy of him i wasn't really surprised or anything since i found out while i was inside sukuna 
there really are only three of us. I guess you really gotta be there in person for things like this, huh? Alrighty, well, all of us here are here, so I guess it's time to open these. Eerie san gave them to me. They're letters from Gojo Sensei. Letters. This will be a trip. I can't even imagine the kind of shit he'd write. Yuck. That's pretty harsh. I'm not gonna lie, this eye patch is big than Nobara's eye. So she must have lost a chunk of flesh, including the eye, to the point where it couldn't be healed. I don't remember anyone saying that he healed her, only that the guy, uh, I can't remember the guy's name, but he's told his brother was only capable of stopping the bleeding and the injuries progressing. So, yeah, I guess that eye candy is literally a missing eye candy. But um, did you get a joke? <laughs> there's only two. No, bro, Megami. There's, yeah, there's nothing for me. I got to talk to him directly. All right. Let's get this over with. Ugh. Why she seem so upset? What do you say? This isn't a letter. It's just info where my mom is and what she's doing. Crumple. Okay. She doesn't want to know, I guess. Huh. You wanted to know? Not even a little bit. Still, guess I got to give him credit for finding that chick. <laughs> Excuse me, you have been promoted to special grade? He's laughing, Fushiguro's laughing. Now I'm interested. Can I see? Come on, let me see. It's pretty similar to what he wrote in yours, Kugisaki. Shocked face, I guess it wasn't. Uh, This is a major downer. Why were you laughing at this? It's all good. If you say so. Unfortunately, your daddy's dead and buried because I killed the dude. Sorry. Gojo, man, come on, you could have made it a bit much more. I guess that's the lightest he could have made it. Oh, shoot, we got to hurry to Maki-san and the others, question mark. You're coming too, Fushiguro. They said everyone's got to come. Oh, right, I have to apologise to everyone and thank them. This has nothing to do with that, question mark. It's about Okosu senpai We've got to save him. You tell you son of a bitch. Is that what saving his life sounds like? Is Okotsu alright? Only three chapters remain. Oh, only three chapters remain. My my apologies. I said four. I guess I just want Jujutsu Kaisen to last so much, so long that I didn't count properly. Uh, so obviously the latest problem and the last problem, besides the rebuilding of you know Shinjuku and I don't know the loss of Tengen and the loss of people and so on and so forth, is whether Yuta and Gojo are going to either intertwine into one being or Gojo's going to take over Yuta or Yuta is going to take back his body. Now, this is what I think. Since Megami, right, has officially come back and it's been obviously more than a day or two since Sukuna has left his body and we have had no evidence of maybe like Yuji going back to Hold on, actually, I'm going to cut that part out. But since Megami has woken up, it's been like a day or two, maybe even a week, since uh, Sukuna has left his body. It's obviously been past five minutes since Yuta was capable of using his copy technique to use Gojo as a host or an ability factor to use within a battle against Sukuna. So now that everybody's going to try and figure out how to sort out the dilemma between what is happening within Yuta's situation is obviously past three minutes and it's obviously at this point where it's like the point of Yuta taking back his body is gone do you know what I'm saying like that's gone now so now the only options left is Gojo taking over Yuta's body or Yuta merging with Gojo does that make sense I'm sure it makes sense but that is literally the only thing that is of prominent expectation and of results that is most likely going to happen in this situation speed boy Roos or mr 36 whether you're watching or listening to this in the morning afternoon or evening make sure to support your boy you know what i'm saying make sure to drink water as well don't forget that and sleep eight hours a day okay because that's very important rest is important okay and follow the podcast and the youtube channel okay thank you very much we'll be doing more and catching up on this series and making more videos on leaks and so forth and other series. And yeah, man, take care of yourselves. I'm out. Peace.